Greetings, fellow YouTubians. The Secret Snake here, bringing another episode of Minecraft Chrono Miner. And this episode, we have a lot to do. I'm going to try to cover a lot in this episode. A uh, boss fight or two. Um, not the Wither. I just thought we might do another boss fight. I'm not going to say which until we do. And also, some other cool things. Um, apparently, I planted this and it's not growing. It's been here for days. <laughs> I don't know why it's not growing. But it's not. No, you don't. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but... Uh. Now, we did this actually the first time on a higher level. So maybe I should... Do the same. Raise it up a little, that might fix the problem. Try that again. Let's put It takes a lot of blood. All right. Let's activate it. Let it just run for a few. Checking. I'll turn around and there'll be a big tree there. <laughs> All right. And we'll just let it grow. All right, let's see. I don't really need this at the moment. I crafted a lava crystal, um, I guess it was very simple regular shaped crafting, just three lava buckets, a weak blood orb and two glass and a diamond and two obsidian. <coughs> the reason for that, <coughs> excuse me, is to Apply infinite power to this. Well, as long as I got blood for it. Yeah, I think so. And let's see if it's gonna work. Oh, right. I have to activate it. Why is it not working? Maybe it did. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Nice. Let's see how we're doing here. about that for a 
while. Okay. First up, I'll explain some things. Oh, okay. I just created a video. Yeah, you can watch it when it gets put up. Um, a bug report. I crafted... these things on camera for the bug report uh, they don't work basically and also I explained in the video about the bug with these causing the game to crash and also the fact that I spent two hours trying to craft this and the fusion altar and failing miserably I finally cheated it in and yet it still does not work so a lot of bugs in this game either that or i'm just being completely derpy anyway i made a bug report video for it and i'm gonna go to the website post it and see if the guy can tell me how to fix it <laughs> anyway um, i made a bunch more of these that wasn't necessary to do on camera it's just the jars they're very simple to make. We've already went through that. And why is this missing? A jar. That's not good. That should not be like that. I think I got a few more. Extras. Yeah. Where's that? failed to get that thing to work so I ain't gonna bother um, yeah that's good so we've got that taken care of anyway Anyway, what do we got in there? That's, that's good. For now. Alright, let's just put this stuff away because we're not doing this at the moment. Oh, I have to have this in my inventory, don't I? Or do I?
let me pause. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. All done. The altar's full. The orb's got 25,000. It's full. So I don't have to worry about it running out anytime soon. Next up is Yeah, let's get ready for that. So the key that have was we like to do what? You'll see. Alright, to do a division sigil, if you read, it's inactive. You must perform activation ritual. Sneak right click on an enchanted table for more details. So, that should tell you we need an enchanting table. So, let's grab one, two, three, four. And a couple diamonds. And make us an enchanting table. Sweet. Alright, so now basically when you put this down, it will give you information as to why this isn't going to work here. Just shift click with it. Okay, Altar does not have a redstone circle. Altar cannot see the moon. Altar lacks sufficient natural earth. Altar must not be lit by outside sources. Too early. Sacrifice must be made at midnight. So you have to make a sacrifice. Got it? And it has to be in the right location at the right time. And all that goody stuff. Because of that, I guess we need to grab some redstone. And on top of that, we need, mm, I think I have them over here somewhere, yeah, we need a sacrifice. And I'm going to take a couple just in case it goes bad or south. Sacrifice whatever animal we get before they get killed. Mm -hmm. That was too quick. <laughs> Alright, I don't want two different sheep. Hi, Phoebe. Alright. Not quick enough. I want a cow. Actually, I guess I can get a chicken. There's a chicken here somewhere. I see a chicken. Excellent. And there's probably another chicken somewhere. Sheep and cows. Chicken. Layer of dirt right there. Oh, 
Ah, I like this spot right here. This looks good. Okay. This is going to be easy with that mob repelling thing in my bob. Doesn't do what I thought it did. I thought it made him run away. It actually pushes him away. Which is even cooler. out of the way. What not stupid leaves in my way. Alright, we've got our spot. I'll pick that I might as well finish. No. I think I okay I got dirt still. Good to me. Get rid of these other four blocks. There we go. Yeah. Alright. We'll place 
the altar right here. Looks like a good spot. Now, we check it. Altar does not have a redstone circle. Altar can see the moon. Altar has sufficient natural earth. Altar is in dark. Yeah. Altar is in darkness. Too early though to sacrifice. So all we're lacking is the redstone circle. And it does not have to be lit. There we go. Altar has a redstone circle. Altar and circle placed on dirt. Altar can see the moon. Sufficient to dark. And everything's ready. We just need to wait for it to become midnight. And the important thing to note here is to have a silk touch shovel. This is very important. Alright, so that's See, it's it'll start flashing when it's at the right time. Now, this is not going to be a hard thing to do, especially with that mob repulsor thing. So let's get back over there. Which way was it? I think it was this way. When this thing starts flashing, you know it's time. It's almost time, though. I do have a clock up at the left top. And what we have to do is kill this. And then all of a sudden, we're going to have an issue with mobs spawning. And I don't know how that's going to get fixed with rain. See, it's now flashing, and now it's ready. Time to perform a... Awesome! And I'll turn the mob thing on, and rain, I guess, equals no mobs. Awesome! Okay, yeah, there's some there.
Pleased with that. Good day. Good. Oh, and now see it's activated. Sigil is activated. Nice. And I can wait point. Mission accomplished. Why is it? That's the best I've ever got. I might use this up here again. Yeah, that's good. Alright, let's head back. Magica. But I need to make Yeah, I can put this stuff in here for now. Oh no. Still raining. It has to be raining. Oh, the heck with that. Just get rid of some of this junk. boat and a bucket of water. Okay, so we need boats. That's easy enough. We need a chest. We need... Oh, hell. Doesn't matter. Got crap loads of oak. Okay. We got 
boats. I built us a place up top here, way up here. Oh, the hell with that. There we go. Make sure this covering the... Alright, now we got a water source. That's infinite. We can fill these things up with water. Arena ready, almost. Now we got to... Um, whoa. Ooh, I don't have them made in here. just need to find it. 
inlay stuff. Redstone inlay. Ventium. Surrounded by redstone. That can't be critical, can it? Take redstone. A couple of Ventium. And we'll head back here. And it stopped raining, didn't it? Dang it. Alright. Now we've got our location here, and this is where you will throw in, basically you would take your boat and your water, and simply toss them both in, and you're into a fight. That's how it works. But it's got to be in the right biome and the right conditions, like rain. I think it said that in the book. Okay. I do oh okay there it is. The water guardian can be summoned by creating blah blah blah. Uh, in a redstone circle in any biome. When since when? That is predominantly water. Okay, there we go. <laughs> then while raining, so you have to do it while it's raining, throw the boat and the bucket into the into the circle as homage and to the many ships lost at sea apparently. And then you fight this guy. And it will give you blue affinity orbs. And maybe, if you're lucky, a special type of armor. Oh, that's a long ways down. Giving me butterflies in my stomach. Oh, I forgot about the ender thing that I got. Yeah, be careful clicking on this. Because what happens, click on it. Seconds later, you are... Somewhere else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so just be careful with that. Just thought I'd let you know. I was hoping it'd take me up there. Actually, I think I'll keep this boat. Actually, what happened to my boat that was in the water? Here. So while we're waiting for it to get dark, there's, let me see what we need for it, something else I would like to do, oh wow. what we want actually for a new spell so I 
definitely want. But it requires green points. Actually, maybe I got green points by now. <coughs> I haven't been doing much though with this, so I don't know. Uh, one way to find out. I do. I got a green point. Oh, and that's what I want right there. Area effect. I want to see what's over here, though. That would be nice, but I need... I do have dig, right? how to make it let me think feathers bottles I think I need no I think that's all I need I already got projectile. I don't remember if I put the area effect first or after dig. I think before. So I'm doing it right. Dig area net. That's good. 
so let's call it digger that's a word all right so then TNT, orange, or okay, orange ruin, iron shovel, iron pick, okay. the hell? <clears throat> Take some snowballs over there. Arrow. Moonstone. Air essence. I'm gonna have to create that. That's right. TNT. I've been throwing all the arrows away. I know there's some down here. Okay. And TNT. sand oh I know where there's some sand oh wow it's full Awesome. Let's go make this bell real quick. Yeah, this is an hour video, by the way. I should have said something. Uh, and I'll pause if we don't get any rain by the time we get this done. So we need air essence. Feathers, two feathers, uh, I think two bentium dust, and
empty trailer room. I get a button for him. Redstone. Really? Oh, I got one right here. That's already done. Oh, I can't upgrade this, can I? Eh, I was gonna upgrade it. Alright. I think we're ready. Oh, not quite. All right, so. Um, yeah, what are we missing? blank one and a parchment. <coughs> Excuse me. Put the book there. Stand here. My favorite spot. And let's begin. Let's start by throwing this in. And one of these. And an arrow. A snowball. Another snowball. What the hell is that? Oh, Moonstone. Da da da. That's a Moonstone. Okay, and I gotta flip the lever. When this comes up. Oh, wait a minute. Is that. Never mind. I'll show you that in a minute. Alright, All right, when that shows up. 
<coughs> that's requesting power from the nexuses. So you have to pull the lever and it should work actually. I guess I'm gonna have to link it. And what nexus or what Plenty of light to choose from. <laughs> Let's just take this one then and there. Right. Why the hell ain't that working? That's shitty. Why in the hell is that affecting it? It's not even touching it. off. What the hell is wrong with this stupid fucking piece of shit? Sorry. So sorry. Alright, now it should work anyway. What in the hell is, is it my damn mouse button not working? Oh, now it works. I don't know. There's something wrong with it. Anyway, that's it. So now we need to throw TNT in. So sorry for that outburst. And an orange ruin, which I can't see. There we go. And a shovel. And a pickaxe. And finally this perchment. And we got our spell. Oh, let me get it. I saw the spell come flying right at me. Oh, there it is. It just didn't see it. All right. Let's name it, or I should say, let's give it a picture for digging. Big digger. That's cool. Well, this looks like it could like break through stuff. really don't see an image that depicts digging. Unless the claw be, could be construed as digging, couldn't it? Yeah. And it's a big claw. Not the biggest claw. Oh, it don't matter, does it? Alright, we'll go 
with that. There we go. And we'll put that in the book for now. All right. So basically what this does, well, has area effect on low attack I want to do the or low with the moon thing at the bottom right it will do well, a three by or a, I don't know a three by three I think it's three, but yeah. And let's increase that a little bit more. All right. And when it's in power mode, oops, yeah, it will do a radius of well, a lot. I think about right here. Big area. And that's what it does. Demonstration over. It's dark. I'm going to pause until it rains. And we'll be up here. Wait a minute. Is my inventory full? No. We'll be ready to do a boss fight because I said we were going to and we're going to. Even if it does go over an hour. Actually, it's already over an hour. Hmm. It rains here all the time. And now when I want it to rain, it don't rain. Anyhow, um, we're going to need a boat and a bucket of water and this sword, most definitely. There we go. This sword will freeze him in place. So I can whack with this or something. I wonder if this would... No. Not with this boss. <coughs> Alright. So I'll be back when it rains. Alright, fellas. I have to go to bed, so... I'm ready anyway, I think. Oh, yeah, let's put the boat back. Actually, I've never used warding, so let's give that a shot, see what it's all about. I mean, I know what it is, I've seen Dire Wolf use it, I just, yeah, okay, on and off, that's okay, that's cool. This mob is not...
train on. There we go. Alright, it's raining. Let's give this a shot. So I throw the boat in, I throw this in, and something's missing. Maybe I'm too high up. Well, that sucks. Alright, just gonna have to wait until the next episode. I have to go to bed. We're an hour and eight minutes in, so it's not gonna work here apparently. That sucks. Hmm. I don't want this ugly contraption down there. Why won't it work here? <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, Take it easy.